Hey guys, I'm back and today I'm going to be doing a mid-year check-in to the products that I want to pan in 2024. So if you missed it, I posted a video in, I believe it was December of last year, talking about what I wanted to use up and move out of my collection this year. I think I was a little bit more reasonable than I have been in previous years, but we're about to dive right in and see just how reasonable I may or may not have been given that we're halfway through the year. So first off, I had two primers, this Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Power Primer and the Elizabeth Mott uh, Thank Me Later Primer. I have used up the Elizabeth Mott one and now I just have this Laura Mercier one that is about halfway full. So I definitely think that this will be used up by the end of the year. Um, and again, I, I think I was a little bit more reasonable this year. So hopefully this will also get used up. Then I had two concealers. The first is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer in I think it was the shade like Pale or Fair. And then a Clinique Even Better Skin Perfecting Concealer in the shade WN38 Stone. And as you may know from my Project Pan, my 20 and 2024, um, I am done with the NYX concealer and I am working on the Clinique concealer. Um, this one, I took the stopper out thinking it was mostly empty and boy was I wrong. So this definitely has a few more months left in it. But again, if I continue using it um, regularly, I have no problem using up a concealer in, in six months. Since many of these pro um, products are going to be in Project Pans, because I'm trying to use them up. I will link all of my project pans down below um, for your viewing pleasure. I organize all of my project pans into playlists so that you can just hit play and get all caught up. The next product that I had listed is one that I'm not a huge fan of. It's this Tarte Maracuja Juicy Glow Foundation. I really thought I would be done with this by now. I've been mixing it with other things all year trying to get it used up. The packaging is like disgusting because um, it's constantly being thrown into makeup bags and I'm like two thirds of the way through it around here somewhere. This is genuinely just like not worth your money. It's not worth my money. It's not worth anyone's money. So don't recommend it and hopefully I'll get it used up by the end of summer because I really don't want to be panning it all year. I have other foundations that I want to use. Um... The next, moving into bronzers, I have this Maybelline Instant Age Rewinder Eraser Corrector. This is in a shade 144, way too dark for me. Um, I have been using this, clearly it's not nearly done. I'm hoping I can get this used up. I think I can if I just continue to use it during the summer, you know, get a, a little bit more of a bronzy look. Then the other bronzer is a powder bronzer. It's the shade Angle from my Tarte Park Avenue Princess palette. Um, as you can see, I have hit pan. This took m up until like a month or so ago. No, it, I hit pan on this in either April, I wanna say, maybe May. Um, and I've been reaching for it every now and then, but I'm trying to focus on the Maybelline one. This is one of the ones where I'm not sure if I'm gonna finish it up. It kind of depends on how fast I get through the Maybelline one and I mean um, how much I'm using bronzer and doing my makeup in the fall I feel like because sometimes I'll go through phases where I really don't want to wear much bronzer at all and I'm just a little bit of blush and highlighter and I'm good to go and sometimes there's days like today where I enjoy a fair amount of bronzer so it could go either way. Um, we shall see. Then for cheeks, the last product I have is this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in the shade Champagne Pop. Um, I had a very little bit little left of this, but this is where I'm at. I have hit pan in what was remaining. Um, I think I could get this used up in a year. I've been using it every time I do my makeup. It's a beautiful highlighter, but um, I did reach for a few other things and rotate through some other highlighters in my collection at the beginning of the year. So I don't think I'm at the at like a halfway point yet as far as using it. Hopefully I will hit a halfway point by the end of the summer and then that would get me like finished up around the end of the year. 
Then I have some eye products. First is this the Creme Shop Eyebrow Pom Pom in the shade Taupe. This clearly not done yet. I still have it around. I I really wish I was someone who would like keep all of their makeup empty to do those really satisfying videos at the end of the year, but I just don't have the space to put a bunch of empty makeup and then getting rid of it and like recycling it properly is also a huge pain. So this is where we're at with the eyebrow pom-pom. I'm more than halfway through and I'm only halfway through the year. So that's making me feel good. I think that this is definitely one that I can get used up as long as I don't go through any sort of crazy like not wearing makeup at all for months and months and months. Then next I have these two eyeshadow sticks. One is Laura Mercier Caviar Eye Color in Eau Naturale and one is this Nude Sticks Eye Color in the shade Twilight. One I've been using a lot, one I have not been using so much. This Laura Mercier one I reach for all the time. Um, it, there's still a ton of product left, but I've been kind of slowly but steadily making progress. I think I can use this up by the end of the year. I just have to be diligent about it. Um, so this is a strong maybe. This one I think I've used once, honestly, and I didn't even really like it that much when I used it. They are kind of patchy. Like, they're hard to blend out because it wants to stick to itself more than it wants to stick to my skin so it's kind of hard to wear as you can see i've been like blending kind of widely and it it's barely moving i don't know if they just dried out or if this is just the formula um so maybe i'll try to set a usage goal for this in one of my projects and see if i can hit that usage goal and then kind of feel it out from there is probably my next next best step. I'm not hopeful for this one, even though I was really hopeful at the beginning of the year. Then the next couple products I don't have anymore because I used them up. So spoiler alert, but I used up the Cargo Cosmetics Swimmables Eyeliner in the shade Karen Beach, which was a purple. I used up my Stila Liquid Liner in a mini, and I used up my Revlon Kiss Balm in the shade Strawberry. So those are all on like very happily left my collection um, and that means that I have used up five of the products and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine remaining. So as far as number of products, I'm not halfway there, but as far as progress on most of these products, I feel like I am halfway there if that makes sense given that logic i i really feel hopeful about everything except the nude chicks nude sticks eyeshadow stick and then the bronzer from tarte and the laura mercier eyeshadow stick are both kind of kind of maybes but everything else i am feeling really strongly about please let me know what you think of this challenge down below um, I think I'm doing a better job than I have in previous years, but I also set more realistic goals for myself this year. And most of all, I hope you're having an incredible, awesome day wherever you are and that I get to see you in a future video. Thanks, guys.